Okay, transition's over. I guess I should introduce this episode. Hey guys, Game Guy, welcome back to the Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. Last time we left off, we were transitioning into this episode, yada yada yada. And there's the Star Shroom! No, let's not do that. Stop bouncing on his head. It's not polite. Oh, I remember this place. You guys remember the five silver star missions in the Super Mario 64 games? I remember. Yeah, they're back. I, I kind of like this, how when you step out, the platform's automatically comes straight to you. I like that. Now I want a piece of sweet potato pie. Mmm, pie. Pie is delicious, you know that? This Whatever. Oh, that's a nice echo. I hear an echo because the sound's coming from the dazzle and the TV. It's a nice echo. Ah, we have discovered a new galaxy. Yes, the one with the 12 next to it. And I bet I know wh which one it is. But well, we're not going to go there just yet. In this episode, I will be to accomplish um, finishing off the Space Jump Galaxy. Oh, wait a second. I knew I was forgetting something. I forgot about the secret missions. Um, before, when I said, um, in the last episode, I asked, well, I didn't ask. I was wondering to myself if I had finished everything. It turns out I didn't finish everything. I completely forgot about the secret missions for the galaxies. Of all the things I could forget about, I had to forget about that. Every galaxy has a secret mission. Oh, wait a minute. Well, not every. I, I probably don't even know what I'm saying right now. Uh, you know what, just forget what I said. But just to be sure I haven't forgotten anything, I'm going to go back to those other galaxies since I finished um, this one. The horizon light. Why do I call it the horizon light? I don't know. This is the light on the horizon! What's here? What the? Whoa! Whoa! I never knew about this secret. My fireball is stronger than you have a fireball. And I'm sure there's a life ex yep, there's a life extension here. And I'm sure there's a one up in the other one. Oh no, a red shell. Huh, I didn't even need the uh sling star. Hey, can I get a free hit on this boss since I have the red shell? That would be nice if I could. Yep, I sure can. 
Anyway, this is Camilla. No, she's not married to Kamek. So that's pretty nifty. Make sure you get that red shell so you can get the on the boss. Just avoid her fireballs and... Yeah, just avoid her fireballs and throw the red shells at her. Oh, and avoid the magic moves. Yes, that's what they call it, magic moves. Three hits? Oh, I'm thinking of the other boss. Well, that was relatively easy. Got hit twice, but that's okay. Oh wait, we came back. She's going to tell us something. No. Ah, Prankster Comet. Hmm? Yes, Prankster Comets have very strange effects on galaxies. So before we go back to those other galaxies, we're going to talk to that Luma. He'll explain to us what prank Prankster Comets are. I would myself, but I don't feel like it. But I am going to anyway. Hey, oh, if you need to know about anything about Prankster Comets, I'm your Luma. So, let's let him explain. The Prankster Comets are stirring up trouble in galaxies. Here are the different types. Speedy Comets limit the amount of time you spend there. Daredevil Comets leave you with low life. Cosmic Comets makes, make you race a mirror for yourself. Fast Comets make your enemies move faster. Okay, so we're probably going to find some of those Comets back here on the Terrace. So, let's check them out. Yep, we got one right here orbiting the Good Egg Galaxy. So, I am going to do that, but remember, each of these galaxies has a secret mission. That's why I came back here, because I knew I was forgetting something. But, I'm actually going to do the speedy combat mission. Why? Well, since it's a speedy combat mission, and you need to get it done as fast as possible, it'll save time in the video. So... Oh, by the way, once, um, when there's a common in orbit, you cannot do any other mission in that galaxy until you complete the, the mission for the comet. And this one's really easy. All you need to do is beat Dino Piranha. Basically the same level, you just have a limited amount of time. Four minutes. I was going to back up to that, but I talked to him instead. Well, that's okay. Oh, 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 that was too close. Um, yes, the brown rock, whatever those things are, have turned into chain chunks that are indestructible. Well, they can't be destroyed with a rainbow star, but there aren't any rainbow stars here. Oh, you can also destroy one of these green, stretchy ball things. I don't know what they're called. Oh, yeah. See, remember when I said the controls can go out of whack sometimes due to gravity? Yeah.
check this out. The timer still goes on even after the power star appears. What's the point of that? Matter of fact, that actually makes it troublesome to get some stars later on in the game. Because you might only have five seconds right after you get the power star. And if you can't get it to a time, you have to do all that crap over again. Yeah, that can get in the way. <sighs> so, um, I think I've got about, what, four minutes left on this recording? Four or five minutes, but... I'm actually going to end the episode off here. Because we've gotten, what, one or two from the Space Junk Galaxy, then that one from the Good Eye Galaxy. So I think we're good to go. So, thanks for watching this episode. Hope you guys like, and tune in next time. Uh, yeah, I better turn it off.